We're going. Alright, if you can see, I'm backing down. And the backing is horrible on this thing. I'm not going to shift the rudder and go ahead a little bit. Much better performance. I'm going to accelerate quickly here. As you can see, it even starts sucking water at this point. All right. Now, if you'll stay in the model, don't don't get too close up on the model, there, Rose. Back off, in fact, so people can see where we're at. All right. I'm going to begin the uh, surface circle. So I'm going to hit two thirds. And I'm giving it a hard right rudder and I'm holding the rudder. And we're going to try to determine the turning radius on this thing. Now again, we're not using a rudder per se. We're actually uh, vectoring a nozzle, which is shooting a sizable fraction of the water from the pump jet out the stern. And we've deflected that nozzle about the yaw axis to produce a turning moment. As you can see, the turn is nothing to write home about on the surface. I don't think it's going to get any better submerged, though the uh, center of gravity is just behind the sail, so the sail will help destabilize us in yaw, so we might have a, a tighter turn submerged. Not, Mike also wanted, to, as far as the uh, standardized uh, maneuvering uh, checks, a figure of eight. Well, as you can see, I would say I've got about a uh, 15 to 20 foot turning radius. All right, we're completing the turn. As you can see, it's rather lethargic. So I'm not even going to attempt a figure of eight. All right, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and vent the tank and dive the boat. So I'm venting. Oh, it's hot out here. Putting a lot of rise on the uh, nozzle to counteract that pitch down we just saw. It is recovering, but just barely. <clears throat> there. All right, we're going to continue with the hard right hand turn. I'm using the stern nozzle right now to affect pitch changes, and just now I put in some up on the uh, Fairwater Plains. Now I went to full rise on the uh, nozzle, going back to neutral on the nozzle, full dive on the Fairwaters. Very hard to correct. You really got to think ahead of this guy. Okay, uh, from what I saw of that uh, half circle, I had a radius about the same as on the surface, between 15 and 20 foot. sailplanes having some luck with it. I think I found the sweet spot where the stern plane, if you will, nozzle has to be. So now we're just busy trying to drive this thing. Of course the nozzle is slave to the angle keeper. We're using uh, Kevin uh, McLeod's ADF which uh, performs both fail-safe and uh, stern plane functions. Uh, my throttle setting right now is about two-thirds, and I get reasonable speed, nothing to write home about. Depth keeping now is exclusively the fair water planes, the sail planes, so yeah, this is drivable. Oh, Grandpa, it's hot. What? Huh? Hi. Yes, hi. This is a little alarming. I'm getting pretty close here. I've got the full rudder on. I'm going to put some more throttle on it. Hopefully we can 
get out of this rock. See that rock we just missed? Yep. That was pretty close. Okay, I'm going to go give it a blow. Run all stop. Blowing the ballast tank. Waiting for the sail to get out of the water. Within the sail, I've got a um, induction hose for the uh, low pressure blower. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I want to check the turn uh, to the left now on surface. Oh boy. So, Can I sit? No. I'm filming here, boss. I know. It'd all right, I'm better. securing the low pressure blow. And uh, all right, I'm going ahead. I got a two third throttle. And as soon as I'm in the center, I'm going to give this thing a full left rudder. Full left rudder. And with almost a quarter uh, turn in, I'd say uh, again 15 to 20 foot uh, turning radius which is uh, rather poor. Modifications uh, since the last outing was uh, to install uh, guide vanes in the nozzle to give me more, uh, more water thrown when we uh, pitch or yaw the uh, throttle. Are we good now? No, we're not. I'll let you know. Can I sit? Yeah, you can sit. All right, I'm going to dive the boat. Vent is open. Full rise on the planes. Taking some of the stern plane off. Did you find it? Yeah. Rose, get over here. Take some video. You can't take video over there. Okay, I'm kicking off of this piling. Probably did some damage there. You see the piling? Are you looking at it, Rose? Yes. All right, that lack of uh, <coughs> the door got me into some trouble there. I'll tell you right now, I'm not terribly impressed with the performance. So the model's controllable. I'll probably see some rock damage on the bottom of the hull because we, we do have some, uh, the water is relatively shallow and we do have rocks on the bottom. Acting, I may not have any throttle. I right, turned off. Go back in the car. 